Hello and welcome to the Daily Comic and Collectible, episode 397. Now today, the collectible of the day is The Spin Master, DC Universe, The Batman Movie, Winged Suit, Batman Action Figure. Create your own epic adventures with this one-sixth scale wingsuit Batman. Expand the wings and soar above Gotham City with 11 total points of articulation. It's easy to pose this 12-inch Batman action figure into a variety of dynamic action poses for an amazing display. This fully articulated action figure is highly detailed, featuring a cloth cape, detailed sculpt, and a style directly from the Batman DC Universe film. Also available in this series is Selena Kyle and more. Get this Batman movie collectible by Spin Master. Now, the comic of the day is Batman Huntress Cry for Blood, Volume 1, Issue Number 5, with a cover date of October 2000, with story by Greg Rucka, art by Rick Bousset, and cover by Rick Burchette. This issue is titled Cry for Blood, Part 5. After three months, the Huntress has returned to Gotham City, accompanied by The Question. Batman already awaits Helena in her apartment and tries to ease the tension which usually is between them. He knows she did not intend to shoot him with the crossbow and that the murder accusations on her are wrong as well. Batman offers to give her enough room to clear her name as long as she does not clash with the Gotham City Police Department. Shortly after Batman is gone, Robin shows up and interrupts the romantic moment between Helena and Vic. Robin tells her that he reviewed Helena's history together with Oracle and hands over all the files to her. After that, Robin swings on the roof of the building where Batman and Nightwing are waiting for him. Dick is eager to talk to Huntress, but Batman wants her to figure everything out on her own. Meanwhile, Helena tells Vic what she did after she had witnessed Batman for the very first time. She went to the University of Palmero and studied everything that was mafia-related until eventually returning to Gotham City. The killer of her parents is already dead, but Helena still cannot answer the question why she was spared. While Helena looks at the files Robin gave her, Vic goes outside to take care of a man who's obviously observing Helena's apartment. Vic finds out that he works for Santo Casamento. This suddenly makes sense because Helena just looked at a picture, which was taken by the FBI and shows her mother together with Casamento. Helena puts on her costume and immediately asks Casamento straight on what his relationship with her mom was. Casamento points out the obvious. He is Helena's father. To be continued in the final issue. Geek Fact Tim Drake, the current Robin in this story, is a vigilante and also a member of the Batman family. He became the third Robin at a young age succeeding Jason Todd as Batman's sidekick. Eventually, he would be forced to give up the identity of Robin and began his run as Red Robin, when replaced by Damian Wayne. As a small boy, Tim was taken to Halley's Circus, where he met Dick Grayson and the Flying Graysons, the same day as their deaths, which he witnessed and would never forget. Drake's first appearance was in Batman, Issue number 436, from August of 1989. His first appearance as Robin was in Batman, issue number 457, from December of 1990. Bonus Geek Fact The Oracle, whose real name is Barbara Gordon, was the first Batgirl. A teenage vigilante inspired by Batman and her foster father, Police Commissioner Jim Gordon. A life-changing encounter with the Joker made her lose the use of her legs. Due to her skills with the computer, she became the Oracle, the premier supplier of information for all heroes, and the founder of the Birds of Prey. Her first appearance as Batgirl 
was Detective Comics, issue number 359, from January of 1967. Her first appearance as the Oracle was in Suicide Squad, issue number 23, from 1989. At the Movies Brace yourself for a science fiction special effects extravaganza. In the farthest reaches of space, something has gone terribly wrong. Supernova! Starring James Spader and Angela Bassett. Now, in the new, never-before, R-rated version. Advertising Ad Fact From a lifeless body of clay comes a mighty Amazon warrior. From DC Direct, Wonder Woman! Wonder Woman! This limited edition Hand-painted, porcelain statue was inspired by the classic cover of Wonder Woman, issue number 72. Statue stands nine and a half inches in height, eight and a quarter inches wide, and six and a half inches deep. Only $195. Arrives in stores December of 2000. And in stores this December, Krypton is dead. But its greatest city lives on. The Bottle City of Candor. Now the legendary miniature city of Candor can be yours in this intricately detailed replica. The buildings even light up and go dark when the timer runs out. Measures 10 inches tall by 8 inches wide. Limited to 1,800 pieces. Only $175 from DC Direct. And also from DC Direct, the fastest heroes alive. Past, present, and future. The Flash PVC set. Get Golden Age Jay Garrick, Silver Age Barry Allen, and Modern Age Wally West. Plus Max Mercury, Johnny Quick, Jesse Quick, and Impulse. The speediest characters in comics come to life in this colorful new set from DC Direct. And final geek fact. Santo Casamento is the leader of the Casamento family, one of the five families of Gotham City. He was primarily involved in heroin trade. He had an affair with Maria Bertinelli, which resulted in a daughter, Helena, the future huntress. Maria's husband, Franco Bertinelli knew the child wasn't his, so he became abusive. Eventually, mob boss Stefano Mendragora ordered Franco eliminated, along with the rest of his family to prevent vendettas. Casamento was tasked with completing the hit, but he still loved Maria and did not want to anger her brother, Tommy Panessa. So he told the assassin to spare the sister. The hitman did not understand and spared the daughter, Helena, instead. Casamento never forgave himself for the mistake, and the sight of Helena disgusted him. She should have been dead, and Maria should have been alive and married to him. And that takes us to the current story, Cry for Blood. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining me for another Daily Comic and Collectible. And I hope to see you again tomorrow. This is Cat Fan Comics Man. And I'll catch you on the flip. Over and out.